What time is it? It's Samsung Games time. We're gonna continue with Ostrith, which is so good. This game. And we have gotten winter now, so we actually cannot make any food because you can see that this is like covered with ice and snow. So we cannot actually get any any um any fish obviously i've taken the guy out of the boat yard because we don't need any more fish so there's really no point having somebody working there so he has moved to the fishing dock instead now because it's winter it's usually a good idea to build stuff in the winter because there's not much else to do and we could start working on farms maybe a bit early though so i don't know if yeah i, I think we're gonna start working on farms slowly so let's build our first farm and we're gonna orient it this way now where do we want to have all the farms feel that's a question i think we should have farm like a little bit outside of the whole city so if this is going to be like a triangle city here maybe we'll have like a and maybe second set of houses here then we can have the farm starting kind of here like yeah this is the right orientation yeah like that we're gonna have the farms kind of up here i'm thinking maybe like here like like a separate row like that then we can have like the fields going this way. The fields can be in all sorts of strange shapes. It's okay. So we're gonna have a farm right here. Is it in the right orientation? Yeah, I think it is. So we're gonna build a farm, then we're gonna have a lot of jobs for a lot of women, which is fantastic. And then we can make all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, the fields are really interesting. I'm gonna talk to you about that once we get to that. So just gonna speed up the time a bit. I also wanna build a few more houses while we're kind of waiting. So I'm thinking let's build maybe like this. A couple more houses. So we'll have three more houses. Which will allow us to get three more families, which is really cool. And then we're gonna have it connect like kind of like, I don't know. We actually connect up here. Oh, but we need a space between these two houses. So actually I'm gonna build a next one so I don't forget about the space. We're gonna have this go. I'm gonna click Alt so we can go closer. We're gonna have it like this. I should be okay. Have a bit of a space between the houses, which is really really cool. And then we want to have a second row of houses. Open. Okay, but we need to have enough like uh, food and stuff for that, so that's gonna be interesting. And I love it. Yeah, and they can move towards here straight to the farm, so you can almost straight through, which is kind of cool. Might later have some more houses here, but they can kind of move there. But now, yeah, the orientation felt kind of weird. This is going this way. This is going that way. But maybe let's let, let's demolish these houses again. We'll try it again. Because I want to get it as straight as possible. Yeah, this house seems straight. But these... Maybe we need it like this. If I build it again... Yeah, that seems a bit more... Like that. And then we'll have the space. And we'll do Alt. R. This is the only way I can build this this way. Yeah, well, we'll try it this way. We'll see. We'll see how that will go. Hopefully it's like straight-ish. So we've gotten another house, so we could have new people, but we don't have enough food for sale. And we're not going to get much more food during the winter. We have some food here in the fishing dock waiting. So hopefully they can get it from the market here. We have some laborers, men and women, who are going to carry the stuff here. I might change the worker to a man just because he can use a card and she can't. And uh, the problem with that is that she's only going to have to carry stuff one by one, which is not great. So next thing we want to do is we want to grab these cards and we want to carry them to the other to the other um, thing. Oh, this one actually needs repair. That's interesting. Yeah, this one's moving away. So we need to build... Okay, well, carpentry. We have a guy here. Could you, like, fix it? If I click on... Card needs repair. Well, how do I fix it? Should be somehow allowed to fix it. Is he going to fix it automatically? Oh yeah, he's taking it and automatically fixing it, which is perfect. This is re relocating to another parking, and this is probably going to relocate as soon as it's actually done. Which is now. So it's already relocating, good. So somebody should grab it. 
and bring it over. Then we can, we're going to have three, so we can have one more. I'm going to ask for one more. Okay, we're going to remove the sparking. I don't really want it. And I think we want more cards, so I'm just going to copy. Well, not copy. I'm just going to create another... Another card parking. Now, we said we want to have 90 degrees. This is like this way. See, this is not proper orientation. And oh, yeah, now that's perfect. We're gonna have it. Do we want to have some space in between? Let these guys go through straight? Maybe. Maybe we'll have it like this. We can straight go through. No. As I can get to straight orientation. Yeah, we'll place it that way. And they can go straight through if they really want to. And then we can order some more cards because I think the cards are really helping, especially if we carry stuff like a big distance, which we have with the fishing dock and with the farms. And even to the market, like for example, from here, it takes a while to get the firewood. So we want to allow to them to, to take the cards and move it over. And then once we have enough food, once we're out of winter, when we have enough food, get more people it's just gonna be epic so we have all the four cards here this guy cannot make anything more that's okay we could like get him out of there but i think yeah you know what let's let's make him leave and we'll give him the job again once the second car park parking is built and we'll sit, let it go before the houses so but after the farm we have unfinished amount of clay so let's find wood and nails what are we doing here oh not here in the smithy yeah, we still have enough iron, so that's good. Some metal parts, nails, and charcoal. Yeah, this needs to be moved. Oh, look at that. The snow is thawing, and we're getting... It's starting to be spring. Now, we cannot quite do stuff on the farm yet, which is a little sad, because I really like that. Can we get more workers here? I'd like to get as many as we can, because I want this to... Hopefully, we can, like, put some seeds in before it becomes summer. I don't know if we can do it this year. We'll see. And we have some men working here as well. We have three of them. We can set it up to five, but right now I want to focus on the farm first because then we can let the woman do the stuff, which will really help us out. We can't get a new family until we... until we... we, we uh, get, uh, get enough food. Yeah, they're moving through between these two houses. Yeah, this is almost straight. This is cool. I love it. Love it. Okay, three men working on this. And three men fishing. Forestry just has, has one guy. That's okay. We have enough stuff, so we don't need to worry too much. Actually, we don't. We don't have enough wood. Hopefully, he'll, he'll make it soon. We are, yeah, we're gonna... I think we'll finish the farm in, like, April. It should be it should be fast enough to actually be able to, to, to make some more food. How are we doing here? We have some fish, have some firewood, not much though. But people seem to be happy, it seems okay. Yeah, they're they're handling the wealth pretty well. Yeah, these guys are like 52 health. Where is our mayor family? 66? I don't know if they're even the richest. Let's see who is the richest family. Oh, we're kinda of waiting on them to build that. So we have 66 in the Skrinnik family, 59 Krivitsky, 35, and nobody here. Okay, so, so the Skrinnik family is the richest, and then we have these guys, Krivitsky, are kind of coming up on them. A guy from the fishing dock and a woman in the tetchery. Is that how you read it? If I don't read it right, please tell me. Okay, let's go make a farm. So we can make fields. Oh, and we need to get a plow, which we can get... Oh, we need oxen for it, so we're not going to have them yet, because we don't have oxen yet. Prioritize gathering, that just means that the libraries will more focus on that. Supply for oxen, we don't have that, so we're going to... Um, first, we need to have a manager. We can have... So, some manager is going to start work, and we're going to allow all the workers, but we're only going to allow women as workers. And we're going to add some fields. I'm not going to bother to have the fields straight because I think fields generally don't like look straight. So we're just going to have... We want to have like the entrances as close to this as possible. 
places occupy. Oh, that's too close, okay. A bit too close, so we'll place it like this. Have the entrance kind of like that. And then we can have it going this way. Too short. Oh, so I have to remove one three, but that's okay. And then we can have more fit. So we're going to add another field. It's going to be maybe have an entrance. It's going to be pretty. Actually, let's have like a tiny field kind of up front. It's going to be like a, like a really small place occupied again. Okay. Keep building it a little too close to the farm. Like one that's going like this, maybe? It's going to be like a smaller one. Field is not activated. It's okay. And then we're going to build a third field, which is going to have its entrance kind of up in here. I'm going to go maybe like that. Now, this is all the fields. Now we need to set up what we want to do that. So this one is not ready. That's okay. But these other two are. So we want to set this up. And you need to be changing things. And this is kind of like the, the minerals, I guess, that you have in the in the grain. And each one of them is using it up for a certain amount. And then if you use fallow, it's going to kind of regrow. So we're going to go with... But, but the good news is, for example, if you use hemp and potatoes after itself, then the hemp will allow the, the green thingy to regrow. And the potatoes will allow the blue thingy to regrow. So for example, hemp potato and buckwheat should allow every one of these to, to, to regrow. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go buckwheat and um, uh, you can allow this to get ordered. Like to, like to add an order. Uh, I don't quite remember. We need a manager for that. Yeah, we need a manager for that first. So we're going to set this to buckwheat. This one's going to be potatoes. And the last one is going to be hemp as soon as that's done. Oh, and once... Yeah, see, now we have a manager. So now we can actually set up the next thing. So after uh, buckwheat, we're going to have potatoes, which will allow the blue thing to regrow. And then we're going to use up the, the blue thing with the hemp, which will then allow the, the green thing to regrow. Um, um, or yeah, we just use potatoes, so we have the blue thing. So we're gonna be using hemp. But that should work, right? Well, let's check this again. We have we are starting this off with buckwheat, so we're gonna have full red. Then we're going to potatoes, so we'll use up most of the red, but we'll have a full blue. Then we're using the hemp, so we'll use up all the blue, and we'll have um, used up all the red, but we'll have a lot of green. Yeah, but then the problem is that this guy is also using a lot of blue. We have a lot of green. Yeah, we should probably use wheat as the last thing, no, because no, we're gonna leave it the way it is, but without the fennel thing, we'll see how that will work. We're gonna try to have a hemp here and um, buckwheat. We'll see if this works out. If it doesn't, then we can like change it. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to make sure that during every season, I will be able to have like buckwheat, potatoes, and the last thing once the last field is ready. We can make more fields. So I'm actually gonna make a, maybe a field like over here. It's gonna be a little bit weirdly looking, like just like that. It's going to be like a weirdly oriented field and we can add that in and this one's going to be the same so it's going to be start this off with hemp then it needs to go with buckwheat and then goes with potatoes yeah that's it we i don't think we can plow it because we don't have we're going to set this all to active and we're not going to plow this because we don't have anything to plow it with right now, so just gonna leave it the way it is. Okay, now this one needs to get that tree removed, but uh, our foresters will try to work on that. Hopefully with priority. So, and you can see we have a manager, Svetlana Kalanik, and we have three workers, Zlata Vitvitska, Orisia Netudikata, and Natalia Mirosnichenko. 
and they're all starting to work then what they've been and then we have laborers we're gonna allow both female and male laborers to help work out with stuff and what they're gonna do is they're gonna start like what is she doing they're gonna start to work on the field and they're gonna put some seeds there and we're gonna start if they're throwing all the seeds on the field and we're gonna get some potatoes now then we want to order some carts here and we'll set up a guy to work in the carpentry and we're gonna allow this aside from firewood and fish we want to be selling potatoes and buckwheat and the hemp we can then use to make stuff with but right now we're just gonna go with potato and buckwheat to, to sell and the hemp will just keep in storage for the little while yeah like, yeah, like from this thing and you can see that this is already starting to to like work to to, to grow slowly we're not gonna see it yet but i think once it comes to the end then yeah buckwheat potato and the first field they'll hopefully uh somebody will remove that three so no foresters to remove threes but why don't these foresters oh there are no foresters working here yeah we don't have enough food at the moment because we have a lot of let's let's take off some guy from construction maybe then somebody will work here let's we'll see if one carpentry guy nobody at the boathouse three fishing guys i do like them Maybe, yeah we're, we've run out of men Ooh, camp center yeah we have two builders here change them to one but let's let's just try to to leave it hopefully a forester will come soon we'll see about that yeah, we're starting to set up the farm which is really good and i think this is really interesting with the field because you do have to focus on the stuff and we cannot get a plow just yet the plow will help us like you know help, help the fields like go faster and, and things like that but um yeah, we can't really. yeah we're still setting up the seeds in this field this is field number well we should tell you number this is the one that's making buckwheat first oh and you can see we're done with sowing it so next step is growth, then ripeness, and then harvesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so we have done this. This first one is done. We're going to get some buckwheat. And now we're working on the one that's making potatoes, which is this one. We can actually go to field here and we can see that this is the one. Can you change crop during the season? I don't want to change crop. That's fine. Now, we still don't have enough food for sale. But we have one housing available. We have some jobs available. That's okay. Yeah, we are out of wood here because we have no forest so we have one guy working here so that's good he's waiting for a partner to help getting a lock okay he's gonna wait a while because there's nobody else so we gotta take i don't want to take anybody from the from the fishing thing but we could take somebody from the carpentry again we have made actually we haven't made all the cards but right now it's more important to have the people working here yeah, we just have two builders. So the carpentry guy, where did you go? Where are you working now? I want you to help out Miroslavchenko work there. I don't know what, what is he doing. I should have looked at what he was doing before. Yeah, three guys here, nobody at the boat yard. Yeah, that should be okay. We need more food. 0 0.2 fish? That's not gonna be enough to get ourselves more people. Yeah, 2.1 fish, which is good. We have some stuff waiting. And we should have a lot of... I don't... Do we have any women who are unemployed? We don't. And we... I wouldn't be against having a few so they can help this woman carry out the stuff. Yeah, now we have two men here, which is good. So they're starting to make stuff here. They're chopping a three together. And hopefully they'll move... Yeah, see, they're going to, to chop this tree so we can have the next field. How is this doing? We're doing pretty well with this. So I'm, we're going to get a lot of food. At the least, this will get it in the autumn, but I'd like to get it faster. And uh, this field, you can see it's starting to grow. Same for this one. And this one, we're still, uh, still sowing it, which, yeah, it takes us a while, but it should be okay. This is, then needs a lot of people, like laborers, during the, you know, the harvest times and the, uh, the sowing times. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. 
they're, they're chopping the tree out, they have the logs here, so then they can start making this thing soon. Unless all the foresters like take this stuff away. I'll do soon. And we're waiting. Yeah, we were waiting for wood on this one, but now the men can actually start doing this. We have 2.5 fish here. And we still only have 0.2 fish in the market. And some of them are actually um, reserved. So we don't have enough to try to get a new person. I could take off one person from here and change this so that we hire men so they can use carts to bring the stuff over. You see they're moving there but they're like only taking like very little fish. Yeah, she's carrying 0 0.1 fish which is not much. So I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna fire her and I'm gonna change this to men only. I'm gonna have a guy at the market. I'm gonna fire one of you Mr. Whitwe. What's his name? Witwitzki? Yeah, Witwitzki. Come on, man. I want you to work here at the market stall. Go there. Don't be unemployed. Go work at the market stall. So they're actually, they have like uh, preferences. So sometimes they just don't want to work somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fire them all. Just wait till one of them, yeah, Miroshnichenko is working at the market stall and I'm going to let them go back to work here and we'll see how quickly this will kind of fill up and you can see with whiskey is going straight back so he likes working at the at the fishing thing uh, but this uh, he didn't want to work here so this guy Miroshnichenko he can work here because now he can use like cards see now he's going for the fish but he can actually take one fish instead of 0 0.1 fish which is gonna make it much better a new family is settling in town Ooh, and they're coming! Oh my god, we gotta slow this down. So they're coming on this little horse cart. We can follow the wagon. And you can see like this is the whole family. Oh, there's somebody I can just like, yeah. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. We can be looking at them. Look at the family, like the whole family is driving on the wagon. Oh, those are so good. And they're going home and they're gonna settle in. Which house they're gonna go to? Are they gonna go to this house? Or I think it's this house. No, it's this first one. Okay. The Zayat's family. Ooh, and we can even see their like family tree. Like the grandfather Petra and Lena. And we have Yaroslav who's 56 years old and his wife Natalia. And their little son, uh, sorry, their little daughter Vladislava. Ooh, it's, it's, she's no education. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's fine. And they see them. They start with like ten money, and they have some stuff. That's good. They sit, set up recently. Now the woman is immediately labor. He's currently unemployed, but I'm gonna let him work at the fishing place. Ooh, and he, he has a different head, so you can like see him there. Which one is he? That's him. No, that's not him. Oh, these are all the women. Oh, there are a lot of women here. Oh, we also get the older ones. I didn't know that. So we also also get the grandparents. Find home. I didn't know that. I don't think they can work though. Or can they? Yeah, I, I think. Oh, she. Oh my God, she's 84 years old and she has a labor. You don't need to work, woman. Calm down. I didn't. Oh, that's new. I did not know that. Oh, and and their daughter is pretty pretty old, so she could actually have her own house. If there was a place. Oh, and we get a new family here. Borodaiko family. So she could marry somebody. She could like start a new a new house. So we're gonna... Yeah, we're already building her a house. So that's fine. Two more actually. Ooh, we're getting people now. So we're gonna allow this to go to like full amount of people. Petro Zayets and Yaroslav Zayets. So both of these are working at the fisher, fishing dock. Which is so cool. We're gonna activate this uh, field. And what we're gonna this field is gonna be a little different. We're gonna do wheat. And then I think we'll just do buckwheat and then we'll do wheat again. And then we'll do buckwheat again, and then we'll have one year where it's like fallow. I think. And then we're gonna have like a like two more fields that will alternate with that. So we can have like a one more wheat and one more buckwheat every year. Can we have another field here? It seems like we can. So I think I might place like one more 
Maybe in the back here? Have it like pretty big, like that big. Try to move two threes, but that's okay. And then we want to set this up. Oh, it's not ready, so you have to wait. And I'm thinking maybe one more field kind of like here in the front, like that. I want to have him pretty big so that when we're doing like the same setup, we can like, um, it's going to be like around the same amount of harvest. So we're going to set this to buckwheat. Oh yeah, this is not going to work with the fallow thing. So let's just try to alternate and we'll see over time if this is working or not. So we'll just alternate buckwheat, wheat, buckwheat, and wheat. And the last few is going to be like different. I don't know. These two are just alternating. We'll see how the minerals work over time. So we can have, yeah, we have all the women's here. We also allow laborers to work, which is cool. I don't think we can still start uh, sewing this one. Uh, sewing this one or not. Yeah, I think it's too late. It'd be too late. Yeah. Even though it's active, it's just too late to make. That's okay. But you can see that we're getting some growth in our buckwheat, hemp, and potatoes. Sewing season is over. Yeah, it's just too late. Ooh. Really cool. Now we want a guy working here. We, I don't think we have a guy though. Yeah, we need we need these guys to finish building, and for that we need more more forces. We're gonna allow two more forces. I know we don't have the people there, but eventually we'll get them. I love that you can have these grandparents working there. That's just so cool. Petro is working at the fishing dock. Just gonna take maybe one less. He stopped working there, and he'll hopefully start working somewhere else. Where are you working now? Oh, still at the fishing room. So I fired somebody else. That's fine. Who did I fire? You're working in the carpentry now. Okay. Yeah, yourself, Zayas. He's taking a rest and he's going to be making some more cards for the these things. What are we doing? Yeah, we have enough food now. We have 1.1 fish, some firewood wait, wait, waiting, and we should get potato and buckwheat very, very soon. And that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Now click on the right top to watch the next one. Or click on the right bottom to watch a similar game that I'm sure you'll like as well. I'll see you in one of those. Bye bye.